Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rufi Masnur. And right now I want to present our topic about what is research. For the first definitions of research, research is a process of analysis or investigation of a problem that happens so that answers and solutions are found. Or we can mean that research is a systematic analyzing of analysis or investigation in solving problems that happen. And then there are uh, several ex uh, first statement or theories. <coughs> the first Saunders et al. in 2007 assert that uh, research is something that people undertake to find out things in a systematic way, thereby increasing their knowledge. And then uh, Grayton and Jones in 2009 explained that research is a systematic process of discovery and advancement of human knowledge. And Creswell in 2014 said that research is a process of steps used to collect and analyze information to increase our understanding of a topic or issue. And all of the statement as per before, deal that uh, research give the benefit or give the <coughs> feedback to the researcher, starting from the solution of the problem, knowledge, and understanding of the topic that the researcher conduct. And then, <coughs> second is characteristic of the research of the research. The first a research is a systematic process. This meaning uh, of systematic is step of uh, the research. The first, the researcher should be found, should found, should find the topic or issue, and then conduct the title that relate with uh, the problem, and then the research, the researcher uh, design how the form of the research paper may be used qualitative or quantitative. And then after that, uh, the researcher find the data that relate with the topic or issue. And, and then the researcher analyzing the data. And finally, the researcher put the result into the uh, and then second research is usually conducted to study a problem. The third, a research data are interpreted systematically. It means uh, the process uh, in research data are for the first the researcher finding the data, the second the researcher analyzing the data, and the third the researcher interpret data and it hopefully it also hopefully uh, the researcher can apply and uh, the researcher can realize the result of their research uh, to the real life and then the fourth researcher research is based on observation or direct experience by the researcher for example if you are a teacher and you teach your student in your class and you see your problem, uh, your student have a problem or have the difficulties in their English, uh, maybe in their uh, writing skill or speaking skill. It is this situation, the talk of research, doing, doing research comes to you. So, uh, the, the research is not suddenly come to you uh, without observation or direct experience. And then the last research is objective, unbiased, and logical. First, objective. The meaning of objective, your research is strong. Strong what? Your research uh, based on assumption uh, that support from the data and the fact and also uh, support from the theory by the experts. And then unbiased. The meaning of unbiased is your uh, research uh, is not easy to believe uh, that 
someone or an idea or uh, something is better than another. And then logical. Research is uh, makes sense for many uh, people. Makes sense for uh, many readers. So if you want to make sure uh, that things, you can see your research uh, can accept it or not for uh, many people, for others, for uh, other researcher. That's way. And then, how about the systematic process of the result? All of us uh, that has been uh, finished the study uh, in the campus, at the last campus, uh, before I continue to the magister. Uh, department uh, have done to know about the systematic process of research, how we make the research, how we make a research paper. For the first, we find, we find the topic. What is the topic? What is the issue? After that, we define the problem. What is the problem? And then we specify, specify research question or hypothesis. And actually, uh, this section we input into the introduction section. And then after that, we design our research, how the form of our research, and select unit of the study. And this section usually uh, we input to the methodology section. And after uh, after that, we find the data and then we collect the data. After that, we analyze the data. After get the result of the analyzing, we put uh, the result into the chapter intro, uh, chapter discussion and result, write the report. And then, why do research, why we should do the research? First, research increase our understanding. Research give us information and knowledge and research give us problem solving and making decision that needed. So that's uh, for the conclusion, that's uh, the reason why the research. research can increase our understanding, research give us information and knowledge, and research give uh, to solve from the problem or yes, problem in our topic that we conduct with. And for the major feedback, in doing the research, in doing the research, uh, the research make our criticism develop more again. So uh, I think that's all for my explanation. I'm so sorry if I done mistake. Please forgive me. Thank you so much for your uh, attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.